Hello, this is really a continuation of the trimming pipe, the trimming, trim extent pipe block that I've already provided and we can find here. Um, but today I'll just show you how you can use that as well in the drawings to document your pipes when you're in, your or in, you're in a hurry. You might not remember, but uh, what, what I've done in here um, I was also in a hurry and I didn't have all the time to place all the fittings and I was just proofing for fit to make sure that it all fits in the container. So what I've done is I've started routing straight from the equipment um, to the tank connections, tank connections to the, sorry, container connections. Uh, I didn't place any flanges, any fittings, absolutely nothing, just trying to make sure they're all fits first. Uh, so what I've done then is I added all the flanges, added all the fittings and I've measured how much the pipe should be trimmed and when you go inside the root, any open ends, any open nodes, you can right click and you have trim extend pipe. So I've trimmed it just enough. This way, um, the, the the pipe length and the total length is correct, but um, the root itself is uh, is connected to, to the equipment rather than to the fitting. And this will help you on the drawing as well, because if you have a parts list, a bit of material, the pipe length will show up correctly, but It'll help you when you document it. I was also needed to provide some isometric drawings for for the pipes, and sometimes what I like to do, especially when there are a lot of pipes, a lot of roots, um, and it's very difficult to see, I like to give them a different color to each type of root, um, just to better distinguish them just like the in the example provided here um, so but for that you need to have them as in shaded view and it's very difficult to choose to when you dimension to dimension to the end of the flange so what you need to do is activate hidden lines which will create an independent view style not linked anymore um, and then you can go in and dimension this is this is not bad but I don't like the fact that it's disconnected from the main style from the main view and also now you can change the view back it'll discard or the hidden lines override it's fine by me and the good thing is that somehow don't ask me how inventor keeps this reference uh, so as you know sometimes you move you move um, apart you move uh, faces you change apart and some of the dimensions go crazy they turn pink in this case is all working from what I've tested so it is too much work, I think, and uh, maybe you will not choose it, but you can turn hidden lines on, dimension it, and then turn it back off. Or, if you've used, if you connect it straight from the equipment, from the total length, like I've done, and then when you place the flange, because the, the flange is actually connected to the tank, it's not connected to the pipe, so the, the, the root uh, and the pipe uh, and the flange, they're all connected to the tank. But if you've done it this way, then it's really easy to pick the end and get a proper dimension. If you press space bar, it'll change direction. And that's another way of documenting. Uh, obviously, you need to turn on root center lines. So you will actually dimension from the root center lines. Another example here, if you just choose the end of the root center line, 
and you get the same result. So you could either show hidden lines, which in fact it overkills and complicates and makes this drawing very large because what it does, it turns hidden line on for everything and then it hides everything except of what you've selected. So I'm not sure you want to use this, but um, you can. You can dimension from 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 the bottom and then you turn back and the dimension is still there. And this is it really. I better wrap it up, it's almost in the middle of the night now. I'll see you all next time.